Okay guys, I got all the injector sleeves removed and remember this uh, truck had the problem with uh, it had diesel fuel on the coolant system and I'm gonna see see I hope you can see okay I'm gonna explain what was the problem on this thing so these are the sleeves the old sleeves it's got two orange right here and this goes right on the injector right here okay so here is the problem and this is why you have fuel on your coolant system but not nothing on your engine oil so you got two o-rings one here and one here and this keeps the oil on this area right here from here to here you got diesel fuel so you got an o-ring right here and an o-ring right here and keeps the fuel on this area but the cap has two seals here and if those two seals go bad there's fuel pressure on this area so it pressurizes the system and because the seals are bad it leaks through right here and on this area there is your coolant so the fuel will go from here to here so now that we remove the sleeves I'll show you how to clean uh, the sleeve housing okay I hope the camera is clear enough so we remove the sleeve and remember I told you earlier that there's a bunch of oil going into the cylinder so I use this hose it's the same same size as the tip of the injector so that goes in there and you got two options I'll show you the two options you got so this is a vacuum pump that you can buy from any auto parts uh, and you gotta use this cup and the pump but this is kinda slow process now if you have access to a AC system vacuum pump you can use that and I'll show you that so here is a vacuum pump this is an AC vacuum pump and what I do on this one it's a lot faster so this is the the same end right here but this is the the vacuum site so what I do I plug this one into this line and it creates more vacuum pressure so it sucks all the oil from the cylinder a lot faster and it goes right here so that's what I did and I'll show you how to clean it after that so after you got all the oil out of the cylinder this is what you do you're gonna spray brake cleaner in there but at the same time you're gonna spray this with air compressed air at the same time and go like this and that will clean everything around that board so the next step will be to install the sleeves let's get to it